G'day, mate, and welcome back to Cosmeteer with me, Jenny. And in our previous episode, um, we took our little ship out. We took our little ship out, and we went and said hi to a couple of neighbours. We cleared out a couple of pirates. And at the same time, um, we took their remains, and we bolted them to the outside of the hull. And we improved our ship just a little bit. Just a little bit. In today's episode, I hope to improve the ship a lot more. I want to upgrade the engines. I want to upgrade the power. I want to upgrade the weapons. Also, want to upgrade the crew. Uh, but before we get into any of that, there's two things I need to do. One, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for the strong support for the first episode, the likes, the comments, the shares, all that stuff. It was wonderful. I love to see that sort of stuff. Very, very much helps out me, the channel, and the algorithm. Uh, at the same time, I also need to apologize because I'm... I, I said this could be a tutorial series, and I mentioned some things, and I forgot to actually mention the keyboard combination. So... I mentioned that we're going to make our, our first ship, our first ship, uh, our, our first control group, which is we select the ship, we press control F1. This gives us the F1 down the bottom. If I hover over the ship, we can see it's now group one. So if I press F1, whilst to have uh, something else selected, like, um, I don't know, can I select a station? Uh, where is the station? Not really, because uh, I only have one ship currently. We don't have a lot of choices, but if I double tap uh, F1, it'll take me directly to the ship. At the same time, the lasers. I double clicked all the lasers. I set them to control group number one, which was again, pressing control and the number one button, which means if I have nothing selected and I press one, it'll get all the guns. If I double click the, oh, double click, double click, double click. Double click all the airlocks and I press control and two, it means the airlocks become a, a group number two, which is fine for now, useless for now, mainly, but um, it, it's going to be very, very helpful in the future for, you know, when we want to set up different, use different guns to do different things. Uh, at the same time, uh, one of the things I love doing is I love uh, thanking the wonderful YouTube members, thanking the YouTube members that are keeping the channel ad free, which means I don't have to run any mid roll ads during these lovely Let's Plays, which means. Uh, we're going to pick a shirt, a, 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 a crew member, Mr. Red Shirt right here. We're going to name him after a wonderful YouTube member, which is Squareby Von Square. Thank you, Squareby, uh, for being a wonderful YouTube member. Welcome to the channel. Uh, thank you for all your support, and hopefully you don't get blown out in the airlock. All right, today's episode. Today's episode, first thing we need to do is we want to go and deal with more pirates. That's going to be the very first thing we, we're going to do. We have cleared up, uh, well, we've cleared up the scrap from a couple of, well, most of the things we've dealt with currently. We've also put down some markers for some future mining expeditions once we get a second ship, which won't be this episode. Hopefully it'll be the next episode. We need to have a bit more fame and a bit more crew first. Uh, we're also going to say hi to that pirate because, well, we could probably bolt him to the outside of the, sh the hull. Uh, can we... He's coming straight for us. Perfect. All right, so once we're in range, we're going to have a look at him. He has a standard cannon at the front. We're going to target the cannon, and then I'm going to target the cockpit straight behind it by holding down shift so we can have uh, multiple multiple targets in queue. And I don't even think we're going to slow down the game. Now, we're going to run through this at speed number one because our ship's taking all our, ship, our shields taking all the hits, and we're going to slide up to well, where he was, and have the crew jump out and collect everything. Great. Uh, we did take uh, one bit of damage. One bit of damage. Another thing I want to talk about very quickly, we're going to do this, we're going to be doing this a fair bit, just because it makes life a little bit faster, is we're going to pick up um, some of the steel that's outside. If I... Uh, okay, G. Uh, G to select that. Hold down the Alt, which will cancel the collecting. Press G again and do that. Well, tell me. So we're going to pick up 82 steel. 82 steel from outside the hull. What I want to do is um, I want to pick that up instantly. And if I build something like this that costs... Uh, let's do this one. Costs 48 steel. And I build in blueprint mode, please. Uh, no, in, in mirror mode. I build those there. Um, we can see some of the steel that was around the outside disappeared. And then I want to remove that. Oh, look, it suddenly ends up inside the hull. It just saves a bit of time. A bit of time, uh, not too important now, but will become very important later when we start um, salvaging whole space stations. All right, uh, with that cleaned up, we're going to head back to our fugitive area, find our next pirate that we need to deal with, which is going to be you. And 
You are... Okay, so we've dealt with these guys before. We have a disruptor at the front. Uh, we're going to hold down shift and take out the point defense second so it stops shooting at us. And then the cockpit number three. And again, we're just going to leave this running at single game speed because this is going to be over real fast. Providing we can hit the broadside of a bar. Okay. All right. And same story. We're just going to come over here and clean up. Send the crew out, pick up everything, and load up the hull. All right, uh, on to the next destination, which is over here. And same story, we're just going to take this out. Our stores... Hang on, what was that? That was iron. We can live without iron, but I do want to check out an unknown contact. So that is a hyperjump beacon. Hyperjump beacons we're going to get into much later in the game after we get a hyperdrive. Well, not much later, a little bit later. Uh, after we get a hyperdrive for the moment, we don't have one, so we don't have to worry about them too much. But um, I need to come across and deal with the next pirate. Oh, oh, we actually have some repairs. 14 steel. Yeah, we took a shot in the front. It's fine. Uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to deal with you. Which, same same design pretty much. Uh, so we're going to go with laser, point defense, and then the reactor. And this should be over fairly quickly. If they can hit the broadside of a barn. And same story, we're just going to come over here and we're going to tidy up. Got to keep space tidy. Can't have stuff flying around space. It'd be dangerous. All right. Uh, we can straight away see that there is definitely steel here that they are not picking up because we just don't have storage for it. So we're going to come in here uh, and we are going to add in two small storages at the rear, which will both empty out some of our storage. Also pick up some stuff from space. Uh, and that is us ready to go. On to our next mission, which is this asteroid field. Now, if we look at our missions, uh, we have a payment of five grand that we're owed, plus another six grand, plus another six grand, plus this clear asteroid field. Now, this asteroid field is a little bit different. Uh, it has four defense platforms, so we need to deal with all of those. It's going to give us an extra 50 fame, which will take us up to 90, which is going to be the limit for these particular quests from this particular station. Uh, plus, we have the pirate hunters we're meant to be clearing. So we're going to head over here and hopefully find our target and get rid of them fairly quickly. Okay, that's our first target. Uh, now, this being a, a defensive structure, uh, it's not gonna move. It also tends to have a little bit higher armament uh, because it has, well, it's not too worried about thrust. The only thing it needs to do is it needs to rotate position probably to be able to shoot at different targets. So this has, from the looks of it, four cannons, four cannons. Now, I'm lucky my lasers outrange his cannons, so we are just going to aim straight for his cockpit and hope that he turns and faces us, like so. And we're just going to blow up the cockpit, uh, which automatically means I'm just going to put a marker right there because he's going to be dead and we're going to move straight on to our next target. We're not going to bother cleaning him up. We're going to leave his space junk right there because this guy is the exact same and we're going to do the exact same. We're just going to blow him up. And sure, I don't care what the name is. And it looks like he was having an argument with a toothpick. And either way, uh, we won. We won. He's dead. Next. Uh, that's gold. Can I? Okay. Control M for markers. There we go. All right. We're going to head on to the next, next target. And yeah, that was a bit of gold there. I'm just going to mark these. So we're definitely going to come back and get them. You are entirely different. You are a small point defense platform. Okay. So... We can take out the cockpit, we can take out the reactor, or we can take out the guns individually. We're going to slow down to game speed number one. We're going to outrange him, and I'm going to go straight for the cockpit, I think. Because uh, if I can take that out, that'll at least leave the reactor. And technically... Well, technically, one, we win. He's done. Uh, technically, we'll get higher salvage if we pull apart the reactor rather than blow up the reactor. Which would be my preference. Uh, so we just... up oh, there it is. Right. We've got our fourth target in this field. And uh, there's nothing worth picking up here in the asteroid field, no. All right. And as we close the range on this guy, he is launching rockets at us. Great. It is a small uh, heavy explosive missile platform. So I'm going to go again for the cockpit. I could go straight for the, 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 the missile launcher itself. But I actually would probably prefer to salvage that if possible. Uh, the cockpit, it's... 
Yeah, we're going to go for the cockpit. We're going to go for the cockpit. Now, what I need to do is... We don't have any point defense. Okay? I have no armament to get rid of rockets. What I do have is I do have a shield at the front. So our plan is we're going to be using the R button to bring up the rotate. And I'm going to rotate our ship constantly to try and keep our shield pointed towards that rocket. So we're going to rotate our ship around. Uh, and... Right, I want... I want to... I want to... I want to... I want our ship to be here. Uh, it's not going to happen. Okay. Oh, nope, missed. Uh, rocket went wide. Okay, so we're going to aim a little bit further to the right this time. And that went straight in the shield. Perfect. That also went in the shield. And you're dead. I'm going to try and strafe sideways. No. Okay. And we lost 29 steel. So we did take a slam to the side. But uh, we're all repaired and we're good to go. Okay, uh, we need to now do... Well, we don't need to mark that one. We're going to go clean it up straight away. All right, so we need to do a little bit of space cleanup, uh, which means we're going to mark all that and send the crew out to tidy up. Now, we can see there is a bunch of ammo out here. There's also uh, uranium and all sorts of things. And obviously, it won't fit in our cargo store. So we're going to go into our blueprint mode once again. We're going to move you back. We're going to put a large storage right here. And then we're going to make it safe. Which will rearrange our storage again. Also, hopefully, give us plenty of room to put all the other stuff that's still out in space in the cargo hold. Because, honestly, I, our plan is to go salvage everything and go back and sell it. And get that ship upgrade. So, with that one done, that's the next one. Uh, that's copper, copper, copper. Oh, that's carbon. Can I mark that one too, please? Thank you. And we'll just harvest that ship as well. And it's right click. So, you're going to bring up the marker tool and then right click on an existing marker to get rid of it. And obviously, that's what we want to do. We're done yet? Come on. Only just fits. All right, we're going to go on to our next marker, which was another bit of hull, and grab all that. And I already know for a fact we don't have enough storage. We might actually wait for them to break down. Actually, we might. Uh, okay, so first off, we might bring up, bring up the mining tool, unmark everything. Bring up the mining tool again, filter it, and say don't pick up the steel, and then mark it a second time. Oh. I'm bring everybody home. And that didn't work the way I wanted to anyway. Uh, I'm going to bring everybody home because that's a pirate hunter. And if I can take you out, I would be really happy. Uh, I don't know where I can, whether I can. Now we have um, the extra bulbous butt. But maybe... Oh. He changed directions. We probably shouldn't do this at eight times speed. I speed straight back up to eight times. So, uh, the pirates. The pirates uh, go around a patrol route. And what they'll do is they will change... Well, it's, it's a set patrol route. So, in theory, even if you have a slow... A very, very slow ship, you should be able to catch them eventually. It's the eventually part that we're going to have an issue with. Because we have slowed right the way down... Uh, because of the extra weight we have hanging out the rear. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, we'll go back to our salvaging. Uh, one of those two. This one? I, don't know, I can't remember. Uh, that was... Yep, that's the, 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 the scrap we need to pick up. Okay, uh, we are going to come back in here. We're going to do this, and we're going to move you out another four tiles, and then drop another storage. Make it so that'll empty out the storage a little bit, and in theory, everything should fit in the hole perfectly fine now. Okay, and let's grab the gold at the same time. It's right here. Uh, we'll try it. I don't like our chances. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, our top speed's really low. Really low. But if he gets into combat with somebody else, perfect. 
uh, he lost. And we're here, and we know exactly where he died, so we can pick up uh, the loot. That worked out well for us. It's a little bit far away, but, you know, they've got oxygen, they've got a spacesuit, they'll, 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 they'll get there and back, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so with that done, we're going to go to this marker then next, and we'll clean up this one. And I f expect we're going to be adding more in the booty in just a second. Oh, it all fits. Just. Okay. All right. Back to this one then. Uh, that was the gold. Okay. We got all the gold? Yeah, we can only mine, us, mine the soft rocks, the harder deposits we can't actually pick up yet. So I'm not going to remove that marker. I am going to confirm everything's gone here. Cool. Whilst you guys are here, uh, control M, remove that. Grab some copper and we'll go sell everything. Uh, what was that marker? It must be a resource. All right, so we picked up everything. We got some asteroids uh, pre-selected out to go clean up after, after... We have the ability to, um, well, uh, mine them properly with a mining laser. Okay, so first thing is we're going to get our payments. So we're going to have six grand plus six grand plus five grand plus another $19,000 with 14 fame. That's the important one. The more fame we have, the more people we can hire. Moment we only have one room, well, room for one bed to hire one person. But I'm hoping to get some more in the future. All right, next thing we're going to go is selling. Okay, I do not want certain items. Hyperion, we can't build with it. Don't need it. Uh, ammo, don't need that. Uh, high explosive missile parts, don't need those either. Uh, these are building materials. I want to hold on to these. These are all building materials. I want to hold on to these. Sulfur, I don't need. The copper we picked up, I don't need. The gold, I don't need. And the uranium, I don't need. So that's another $14,000 added to the pool. Which means, whilst that trade goes on, we're going to look at some blueprints. Now, uh, nope, that one. I already bought the bigger and better blasters, okay? So we have access to bigger and better blasters, but there's a couple of other things I want. First off, I need a medium reactor, okay? We're going to explain why you go over a medium over a small in just a second, but I'm going to need a medium reactor. On top of that, uh, I also want... Uh, not defenses. I want a medium reactor. Ah, I want engines. I want engines. We also want large thruster. Okay, it's very, very cheap, but we'll definitely increase our top speed because uh, that's the next thing we're going to be doing. We're going to be going in here, going to blueprint mode, and we're going to be rearranging the ship. So, first thing I want to do is unpause the game so at least then it runs and our sail keeps going through. Uh, we are going to weapons. Uh, we're going to upgrade from the basic lasers to the heavy blasters. Yeah. The basic laser. If I hold down Alt, we get the extended information, and we can see we have a damage of 533 per second with a power usage of 0.27 per second. The heavy laser has a damage of 1600 per second and a power usage of 0.89. So, what's that? Three times the power usage and three times the damage. Seems pretty logical. The other thing that's going to be very, very important is with this one, the speed at which the bolts fire. Yes, uh, for the basic lasers, 320 meters per second. The bigger ones move a little bit slower. So there is a higher chance that whoever we're shooting at is going to dodge, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. But overall, they make sense. Uh, they also have a lot more hit points uh, when compared to the, the original one. So uh, we're going to build one, two, three, four, five of those. I think five is a good number. All right, that's the first thing I want to do. Uh, next thing we're going to notice is my shield doesn't really cover us anymore. So we're going to have two shields down, and we're going to put our shields here and here, which is ruining our sideways thrusters and all sorts of things. But uh, actually, can we delete, delete, delete? Cool. Uh, also delete those. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have some uh, two shields. Two shields far apart should give us plenty of shielding to cover the front of our, our ship. We could build these closer together, and that would cover just our guns, but 
I don't need a whole lot of overlap in the middle, so we're going to only have a tiny bit of overlap because that gives us plenty of room, hopefully, for right in the middle to build a medium reactor. Now, medium reactor compared to a small reactor. If we look at, let's start with small. Small, we've had access to small. We know how small works. Power comes out, little batteries come out. The guys grab the little batteries, they take them, and they go shove them into different machines. Uh, with our small reactor core, it made a power generation of 1.5 per second. Uh, our medium reactor uh, makes a power generation of 4.5 per second. So a lot more power, lot, lot more power. Uh, also, the small reactor has a battery size of one. The medium reactor has a battery size of two, which means little batteries they're taking, they're picking up, they're running away with, they're twice as big, which really, really adds up. It means every route that they're doing becomes twice as efficient. So you definitely want to put in uh, medium reactors and even large reactors over small reactors. There's a catch. Medium reactors uh, go bigger boom when they get blown up than small reactors. In fact, if one of our reactor cores go, we're done. We're done. It's game over. Like There is no coming back from it. So something to keep in mind. All right. Uh, so we're going to go for a medium reactor. Now, I removed uh, the sideway thrusters and that sort of stuff at the front of the ship, which means I need to replace them. So I'm going to take a standard thruster. I'm going to whack it right there. At the same time, we did grab some point defense uh, under defense. And I'm going to have two little point defenses here and here. Now, we can see by their firing arc, they're only going to cover our sights. They won't cover any missiles coming at us from head on. So that's something we need to keep in mind. We either can have the shields take the brunt of the rockets, or we can spin to the side and hopefully shoot it down with point defense. Mm, maybe not or either are good options, but they're both options. All right. Uh, next up, we're going to change this out for a bit of a corridor uh, just out to here because I'm going to need more crew quarters. In fact, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, a lot more crew. Uh, we're also not going to have those engines there anymore. All right. So we're going to have uh, four crew on either side. Takes our crew, total crew amount storage people storage up to 48 a lot more crew uh other thing i want to do is we're going to take our cockpit i'm going to slide it to the side one uh just so it's off center and i'm going to throw in a storage in here just because well we're going to try and keep the ship reasonably square uh obviously i just said it medium reactors are way better than small reactors so i'm going to upgrade you to a medium reactor also, we got those bigger and better thrusters. So I'm going to put in a large thruster. Again, thrusters. Um, so the standard thruster we've been using up until now, very, very good. Okay, thrust 1200 kilonewtons. Uh, ramp up time, one second, and a power usage of 0.1. Our large thruster has a thrust of 3200 kilonewtons. So two and a half times as good bit over uh a ramp up time of two seconds so it takes a lot longer to get up to full speed but that's okay uh also the power usage is 0.2 so it's more efficient to give us more thrust uh which is good because our ship got uh significantly heavier and it's probably gonna get heavier again uh i'm going to put you right here at the same time we're gonna need some sideways thrust for some lateral movement so i'm gonna be putting those guys there with that, uh, no, I'm missing something. Mm, I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, we'll work it out in a second. Uh, storage, storage. No, I want a large storage here. Uh, oh. I just worked it out. Never mind. Uh, stand thrusters. We're going to put in stand thrusters there and there with a corridor. And I actually need to slide you guys out of time. Yes. Okay. That works better. All right. So we're going to have our thrusters down here. Thrust down here. We're going to have storage as well, which is going to stick out slightly. But the other thing I forgot to add was retrograde thrusters. So we're going to want a couple of thrusters. So, you know, when we charge into combat, we can actually get the hell back out of combat should we need to. Or at least make sure that they don't close the range and come right up in our face. Uh, they're going to need doors. Okay. And that should be, should be most of a hole. All right. Uh, let's go through some basics, uh, as we've done already. We're going to throw some armor on. We're going to throw in armor here. Plus, I'm going to throw in armor here. Plus, uh, if I remove the armor and I click on you again, we can see your firing arc. If I was to put a little wedge in here 
and click on the firing arc, you'll see that's definitely clipped, so that won't work. But if I put in a tiny triangle, like so, and then click on you, we can see it doesn't interject, which means uh, it's not going to block our our range or our, our firing arc. Okay, uh, we also need a couple of basics like airlocks, so I'm going to put an airlock here for both those guys. I'm also going to put in... Uh, where do I want it? I want it here. Uh, with mirror mode off. I want to put an airlock in here. Right in front of the ship. Also want to put in defenses. A fire extinguisher. Alright. Uh, fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. Let's have a conversation about fire extinguishers. Fires are bad. Okay, very, very bad. Very, 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 very bad. Uh, very, very, very bad. Don't have fires. The only way you'll put out a fire is with a fire extinguisher. In saying that, uh, it requires the crew to come along, grab the fire extinguisher, and then physically run to the fire to put the fire out. Which is a great plan. Uh, with that plan, it comes at a cost, and... Uh, that being that fires spread through doors. So the more doors you have, i.e. Uh, bad decision, because it vastly increased the chance of the fire getting out of this storage room and into, well, the rest of the hull. So we want to minimize our doors. In saying that, I also want to maximize the pathfinding for our little guys to make sure they can get around places. So uh, storage. Storage just needs a door. Doesn't matter what the door is for these two, they're not going to be using them. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, as for, well, these engines. Let's start with these engines. These engines, we can see the crew has to come all the way up to here to come down to get to this thruster, which is less than optimal. So I'm going to put a door here, which vastly it decreases the uh, distance that they need to travel to get it power, which also means that we need to do on the same on the other side to make sure it matches. These guys, they can see it is a super short route to power, so they should be fine. These should also be fine. Uh, this, uh, let's do that. And let's also do that. Okay. So these are going to be identical. So we're going to have shields. Nice and nice and close to power generation. We have uh, these thrusters. Now these thrusters are a little bit further away. And we have a couple of options when it comes to pathfinding. If I highlight here, we can see it is the nearest power is four meters away. But it's not just four meters. It is, well... Every tile has a pathing cost. Yes, pathing cost. So if we hold down Alt, we can see the cruise speed is 50%. If I hold down on a hallway, cruise speed 100%. If I hold down Alt on the small shield generator, we have cruise speed of 50% again. So for the crew to work walk from here, it is a 50% penalty, the zero penalty, 50%, 50%, and 50%. So that means it's one, two, three, four tiles moving at half speed one tile moving at full speed which means it's a total cost of uh nine tiles worth of distance now my other option is they could come out from here being 50 percent then go one two three four five and then in here which is 50 percent uh well one two three four five plus six seven for this one plus eight nine for that one so whether they go through this room or whether they go around it's the same pathfinding cost between here and here. Uh, as for this one, pretty much the same story. It's going to be the... It's actually... This one's going to be slightly faster to go straight through than it would be to go around. Okay? Uh, when it comes to this, this is when things get a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's go with this one. So, this is a direct route. Nice and simple. This is also a direct route. Nice and simple. Uh, this one, we can see power is pretty good. Three meters. Uh, the crew, way worse seven meters. We're going to fix the crew separately. Uh, power for this one, pretty good power for this one less than ideal if i move that door over a tile we're great for power we're doing better for power we're also doing better for power this one way worse on crew but again crew's a whole separate story we're going to be dealing with crew as a separate project entirely uh what does that leave us that leaves us absolutely nothing okay i am going to i'm going to put a fire extinguisher in here Uh, not. Okay. Uh, Alright, so that's going to be our little ship. Uh, it's going to cost us seven grand, which is us buying 26 hypercoils. Alright, what I want to do then is we're going to add some more armor. Uh, I'm going to intentionally stick a bit of armor out. No. 
Bit of armor out here to cover that thruster. A uh, bit of... Can I get the arrow mode on, please? Bit of armor out there to cover that thruster. A uh, bit of armor here to cover these thrusters. Bit of armor there. Uh... Still just costing us the hypercores. Everything else we have in stock in the hull already. We're going to be putting armor here along with armor here and here then. Front's covered. I can't put any armor here. Oh, I could... We could actually... We could do that. We could cover up that sideways thruster and still be fine. All right. So that is the total cost of the ship. Uh, is there anything I want to change? Add? No, not really. We're sort of limited on space. Very limited on space. Okay. Uh, that's That seems like our ship upgrade. Yeah. We're going to click that and it's going to magically all happen. It's also going to kick all the crew out. We'll also notice the stores are pretty full and luckily nothing got thrown overboard. Okay. So with the ship back up and running, uh, we're good. We, we, we have a crew. We have uh, things up and running. We do need to talk to the station first. And the first thing I want to do is I want to hire out as much crew as I can. So I have 37 crew, which means we're going to go into resource management and I'm going to click this button. Now this button is uh, supply chain mode because I have a few issues. We remember this reactor makes 4.5 power and these guys use when firing at full speed 4.5 power, which means I definitely don't want power from this reactor to be taken down and fed to these engines. So we're gonna click on this reactor and I'm gonna right click on each one of these lasers to make sure the power from this reactor can go to these lasers. At the same time, I also wanna make sure that the, this power well, this now forces this power to only go to these lasers. That's sort of what I want and sort of not what I want. I also want it to be available to go to both these shields and both these thrusters. By the same token, this reactor, I want to make sure it can power up just these engines. Also, this engine and this engine. Also, I want it to help power up that reactor, that reactor, that thruster, that thruster, and our point defense. So we're going to have this reactor support the front reactor, doing a whole bunch of things. And the front reactor is mainly going to be doing weapons and a little bit of the forward thrust. The forward thrust, or the, 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 the strafing thrust, the lateral thrust. I don't think we'll be using these too often, so we should be fine. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a quick, quick trip down uh, Crew Avenue. And that is going to make a whole new crew type. Uh, it is going to be a lovely blue shirt being the ops guys. Okay. All they do is operating. Uh, and we're going to do that intentionally because we're going to be putting them in a horrible sleeping location. And then we're going to make sure that all they do is they sit in cannons and, uh, well, they sit in the seat and they aim at different things. Um, actually, do I want them? Okay. So we're going to set these guys to nine. Nine is going to have to be the answer. Uh, nine, 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 nine. nine. Uh, operate nine, operate nine, operate nine. Operate, operate, operate. Uh, supply, no. Uh, operate flak battery nine, extinguish fire ten. Uh, operate ten for the cockpit because we can't let the cockpit power down. We're going to change their supply batteries down to eight because we don't want them doing supply jobs. We want them to be operating things. Uh, hyperdrive battery, what did I say? Nine. Yeah, nine should be fine. Uh, are we into that one? Uh, supply for the supply batteries to the thr thrusters really I honestly don't want them doing gather resources gather resources and salvage mine I'm going to set these to 10 because I don't want the operators to be sitting in the cannons waiting to shoot something when we're out mining so I need to set this as a higher priority uh, also means that when I ask them to mine things there is a good chance that they're going to jump overboard and therefore they're not going to be doing anything productive like sitting in the cannons so we are very defenseless uh production there is nothing in production uh storage there is nothing in storage mining laser operate nine operate a tractor beam at nine operate a sensor array at nine and that should be them fully set up okay so our operators our operators we are going to assign intentionally to Let's go with, well, I want a good example. This bug, this bug. Uh, let's go with that bug. So now they're priority nine. Priority nine operators, uh, which means they're gonna kick the red shirts out of their existing seats. Uh, speaking of red shirts, I do need to change one thing in the red shirts priorities, which is the cockpit. Uh, eight, 
Eight. Eight. Uh, I think that's the only change I need to do. All right, so back to the blue shirts. Uh, I want to put them in, I want this room to also be blue shirts, which means, again, they're going to go and they're going to take over weapons and, and different things, and that will be their one job in life. They just need to operate things, okay? And as we can see, I seem to have one crew left over, one spare. I don't really want one spare, so... Is it this tab? No. Uh, I want to grab that crew member and we're going to assign him to that room, I think. Yes. Okay. So my operators, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. And uh, is this how I do it? Filters, ops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, oh, 11 crew, 11 crew, 11 matching crew. So my 11 uh, operators are just sitting in the seat. That's all they'll ever do. Nothing else, which is perfect for me. I really want to make sure that the guns always get manned. I don't want somebody leaving the guns to go get an energy cell to, to fill up the shield. We have other crew dedicated to that. I, again, don't want people swapping seats. So I crew remember leaving the gun to go wander off to go do something to then have somebody else have to come in and, you know, sit in the seat instead. All right. Uh, with that done, why don't you have power? Why don't you have power? Do you have a door? Oh, edit roll. Show priorities. Uh, profit. Supply battery. Edit roll. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's assign you back to that. I definitely put a door in. Oh, I just realized the problem. I never assigned that to there. Yeah, that'll do it. And then a red shirt instantly goes and takes a battery cell in there. So it, it, it's the simple things. It's the simple things. It's also the complicated things. This is this is when we're getting into the micro and the thick of it. Uh, I guess if you forget something important like that, um, it means that suddenly your ship doesn't work. All right. Uh, what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to sell all our wares because, well... I don't really want it in the hull. Uh, we can sell the hypercoils, the coils, the steel very, very easily. They've been easy to get. We're going to hold on to the processes and the rich uranium. It's a little bit more difficult to get, which is going to give us another $26,000. Yep, yeah, a nice uh, nice amount of money. It also means that our one of our little ship, uh, the Zap Zap, the Zap Zap. Uh, can, I, can I select? No, I need to select each one individually. The zap zap. Uh, we're going to cut that, put that there, go to decal level one, cut that, put that there, go to decal level three, cut that, put that there. And we're going to give you a base coat of, let's go with that one, with about that color. And we're going to paint up the zap zap because we're not going to be taking the zap zap out this episode to go say hi to the neighbors. We're going to do that in the very next episode. Mm, pretty happy with the zap zap. Pretty happy with all our door placement. We've sort of kept our, all our routes as short as possible. We've made sure the crew can get over to places. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. There's one other thing. I just saw it. I, ooh. Okay. We should really do things in this mode. Yep, I want to rearrange that so they can go that way. Uh, you are going north to that reactor. You're going south to that reactor or north to that reactor. I guess. Uh, look, we'll just give you. We'll give you two doors. We'll give you two doors. You get twice as many doors, twice as many options, twice the chance of a fire. All right, uh, which is unfortunate because I just sold everything. But uh, we're just going to rotate those rooms, give them slightly better access. These guys are hopefully going to go that way. Yes. Yes, this, this is going to be our ship. This is going to be our ship. Uh, as always, I will be sharing uh, this particular ship design over on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, you should definitely do, do so because you can get a copy of the upgraded ship, which should, in theory, carry over the crew assignments as well, along with the supply links. It should carry all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, you are powering that. 
technically I should have that power that as well. But I think we'll be okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to call this episode here. I will be, we'll be back with the next episode where we take our little ship out and we probably clear out the rest of the sector. We're also going to definitely get a second ship up and running. I want a second dedicated ship. That's going to be very, very important in the next episode. But uh, for right now, I'll have to call this one here and I will see you guys in the next episode with the zap zap. The zap zap. The zap 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 zap. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.